Welcome to the official Generation Old School YouTube channel. In this channel, we post videos of old school cars and trucks. We meet with classic cars enthusiasts just like you to bring you the adventures you deserve. Not only we review each classic custom car in detail, but bring you the history and background of each vehicle. We also go on a street ride and test the vehicle's ability to perform above and beyond. If you like this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and also follow us on social media at Generation Old School on Instagram. Good morning, in this episode of Generation Old School, we're gonna be meeting with Eddie Flores. Now, Eddie is someone that I have been following for a very long time on Instagram. I'm gonna put a screenshot right here. It's Mia Yoda. He buys and sells trucks, old school trucks. So if you guys are in the market for an old school truck, he is the man that you wanna contact here in Miami. Today, we're gonna meet up with him. He's gonna show us some of his cars. This is by far the first episode of Generation Old School that we are doing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you do, don't forget, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. That is nice, Eddie. So this one is called a Rusty. This one's called El Gordo. Ah, El Gordo. Mm -hmm. This was called the Gordo. I'll tell you the story with this truck. This one, uh, I found a guy, I was a part of a forum, and then I found a guy that uh, did trucks in North Carolina. And he would always extend all the, the fenders on all uh -huh. his trucks. So I said, man, I love that look. So then I basically called him up and I, t I introduced myself and I told him, listen, I want you to build me a truck. He's like, okay, uh, I can build you a truck. His name is Dean. Rat Builder, that's his Instagram account. Bueno, so uh, I commissioned him to build the truck. He told me, I'm like, okay, where do we get a body? He's like, oh, I have a bunch of uh, parts in my in my yard. Then he's got 70 acres. Truck, uh, truck pieces all over the place. Mm -hmm. So this is three trucks put together, three or four trucks put together. The, the bed was uh, in pieces, the fenders were in pieces, the cab was in pieces. This, this cab actually has bullet holes all over the place because they used to use it as as a uh, target practice no way. See? and what I did is I told them even when we restored the interior leave the bullet holes in the inside you can see right here in the door oh my God. that looks so cool well, so I asked them to build me a truck like this to my specs hey I wanted to extend the fenders we extended the fenders eight inches so it's that's why it's called a gordo this is obviously as fat as you can get. Wow. And those tires that we just I just finished them yesterday for this because they were black. So you painted them? I painted them. You paint how do you do that? You do it by hand? By hand? Yeah, by hand. Uh, there's uh, like a special paint that you use. It's a mission and a half, you know. And, yeah, and yeah. you gotta do the line as perfect as you can. Uh -huh. The problem is that they don't make white wall tires for the rear. Mm -hmm. So then this truck I I basically build it and I ended up selling it. Oh, you did? I sold it to someone in uh, in Louisiana, and that truck ended up going on a tour around the like the lower states for five five states, and he made it all the way through, everything fine. Then he sold it to someone else. Then that guy sold it to someone else, and about six months ago, that third owner he called me up and he told me, "Listen, I saw that you posted this picture and that I follow you. I have that truck, and unfortunately, I'm going through some hard times and." I want to know if maybe you're interested in buying it back.
Jeez, you can smell the gas. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Very nice. Is that your gas tank? Yeah. The gas tank right there. And this is where you have all the compressors and everything. Yeah, this is where the whole the airbags over there. So you did this after you bought it back or before you sold it? Before I sold it. Before you sold yeah, it. Yeah, I built this. I had the guy build it and Basically, it was the first time he was doing airbags, so we talked about it, explained to him how the way everything worked, and he went at it, and this was his first airbag truck. Nice. Super low. Thank you so much for allowing, allowing me to come to your house, showing me your cars, and being part of the Generational School family. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also follow Eddie at uh, Mia Yora on Instagram and YouTube. Take care, guys.